The Party Poker Premier League is playing out here in Montreal, a city that has an MLS soccer team and, of course, the Montreal Canadiens. But tonight the game is poker as the players bet and bluff their way to the remaining points in this special event. The lineup this year is definitely the toughest lineup that there's ever been. Fantastic players, top to bottom. I don't think there's any easy lineup in the Premier League. I mean, everyone thinks they're the best. It's definitely a unique structure. It's unlike any other form of poker. You only have to beat 11 other degenerates. It's about winning as many points as possible. There's a lot of money on the table. It really is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I enjoy the challenge. I'm ready for that. Premier League, bring it on. If poker is your game, then you're in the right place. Here's Jesse with a reminder of Heat 4's action so far. Antonio Espandiari flew out in front. Come on. You're so hopeless, it's amazing. Phil Locke hung in there. Coming in hot, kid. All in. For the second time this season, Scott oh, Seaver cool. left with a bagel. Oh, wow. You're gonna have to play better and get luck here. Jungleman busted with one point. All in. <laughs> Vanessa fell next. That could have ruined her chances of making the final table, but has Dan Coleman looking nailed on. Look how good this is. So five players left. Esfandiari has been the chip leader from the off. He's sitting with nearly a million. Dan Coleman took Vanessa's stack and is right behind him. Then a big gap to lock. Duhamel and really struggling to keep in it is Mizzy. Ryan Rast and Jeff Gross keeping a look in with me on this one. Vanessa has just exited the building. She'll be disappointed with that low score, and with the next player out receiving five points, that means she'll be back in the bottom four by the end of the night. Esfandiari, with a game in hand over everyone else, could leapfrog up the table if he continues in this form. And will Locke and Duhamel close the gap on Coleman and Mizzy in the top four? Wow, Duhamel has two kings. It's a big hand. Suit four raise, 24,000. Wow. I don't know, the way this was going, I feel wow. a queen coming. Oh my goodness. Well, this is uh, certainly gonna get in. And, I mean, Antonio has a big hand here. He's got a three bet, right? Three bets. He's gonna Suit five re raise, 50,000. <laughs> Super small. Wow, this is a cool. Oh my goodness. When what is Coleman going to well, do? Well, he, he's he's liable. Oh my, so he Coleman might ship just it. shoved the king queen. He's yes, gonna, he did. He's gonna. He might ship it. By he's gonna way, ship well, it. How he plays. Is this slightly no. different? Watch. I mean, watch well, what he does. Now he's up to 900k. He, he might not ship. He's but gonna he make could, a huge four bet. He's not flatting. Well, hold what on is a second. Play? If he ships it. Oh wow. wow he's, he's just folding. does it. He's playing. He's just yeah, he's really playing doing his, it. He's, he's just good. He's just good. He is just good. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous how good he is. I mean, I, I, to be honest, it's the best. I, he can't call. Coleman has really played great. I mean, let's give the guy credit. Yeah. He just <laughs> shipped the king queen and and it and it was right. It and was he's right, right here. And now he just this got away from up. tens. And you know what? He's going to get to do the fist pump victory dance cuz both these hands are getting turned he's gonna, over. Yeah, you'll see some emotion and from him. He's going to be I'm very sure. happy. Oh, man. Oh. All in. Call. And, he, and Antonio's going to be a little shell shocked here. Jesus. Yep. Genius fold. Genius fold, he said, and he is. Antonio might have to see a little adversity today. He's had everything just steady go his way. Oh, you look coming. High tens. Well, Antonio can survive this for sure. I mean, what about uh, a 10 ball? Oh, just man. To, just yeah, to make just Coleman sick. Coleman sick in a sweat. Stop don't saying. do this. Stop. No one, don't do this, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> you're not gonna oh wow! There you go. You nice hand. Oh my god! He just did that. <laughs> Antonio's doing the chip oh, count out. I was about to win. I'm gonna lose. That's a pretty secure card. Wow! This is a a big pot for Duhamel. A very very bad outcome for Phil Locke. Come on. 
Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, he's he's still going to have, what, 750? So, I mean, he's still got plenty of chips. But yeah, he's good. in a new spot now because for a while, I mean, he was the massive chip leader with no one. And now, I mean, Coleman has more chips than him and position. So, I mean, Antonio and Coleman can really mess with Antonio because Coleman's in such a good spot. Like, Coleman has a ton of points. Oh, wow. He's got position. I mean, Antonio has Antonio, really got to tighten up. Is, is he Antonio, smart enough Antonio to realize that he has to make that adjustment immediately? I mean, he was looking at kind of minimum second. Well, yeah, that's exactly. It's like 16. That's only 16 through two if because, he gets second, you know, you, which isn't even like, I mean, no, it's good. No, 16 through two would be great. I mean, he, right. he would be well you take, positioned to make Of course he's going to take it. I'm just saying, like, he had, yeah. Then, I, I, think, I think top three is I mean, I think he's going to slow down a bit. I, I'm pretty sure Antonio. Yeah, he knows how to play. Yeah, he he's aware of what's going on. Well, yeah. he is, but do you think maybe he has to get the message one time? I mean, is he? I, Coleman sent the message already. I mean, he took <laughs> four bet shove the king queen suited after a smile. Smile like, oh, but guess he's going to ship put this, this 100 out of 100. Yeah, so Coleman now, we just saw he's been playing tight, but now with all the chips, he's... By the way, this is probably a call yeah, by Coleman. Yeah, this is bad. Well, I, this I don't is great think so, time. because the, the, the shorties are good for him because they make Antonio under, under nah, pressure. I mean, he, the thing is, I mean, math-wise, though, he's getting more than two to one. Right. But, but Vanessa was talking earlier about wow, he's, how... Look at these hands, though. He's up against ace nine with someone else having pocket fives. Yeah, it's a dream scenario. <laughs> Coleman's probably gonna call, he's got a call for Matt. Like, he wants, like, actually, for the Premier League, right. he wants to call. He right. wants to bust yeah, Mizzy right, right, right. now. Yeah, he definitely wants to bust Mizzy. He wants yeah. to bust Mizzy. This so is I mean, the guy who's up top with them. He's probably supposed to call any two in this spot. This is an unbelievable yeah. spot for Mizzy. The ace nine off gets an open. The guy is committed to call, and someone flips two Yeah, look at this. It's normally not 81-16. Really. It's normally not. He's going to bang 16. this flop. And that's, there's what? He needs running spades, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah Can't hit exactly. running fives. The Miz, you just win. Is there one out left? Is there even one? Oh, there's a one five. Yeah, sorry, one five. How do you do it? <laughs> what a spot for Mizzy. Unbelievable. Wow, and the chips cool. evening out. We have Antonio has lost back about 300, and, you know, Coleman's jumped up. Duhamel's jumped up. I mean, Esfandiari is suddenly vulnerable in a lot of ways, isn't he? If he doesn't get at least third, it would definitely be a disaster. Yeah. Although, you do have to say 10 points through two heats is better than, like, five of the people in the Premier League so far. And, I mean, he's, he's I mean, it'd be very difficult for him not to get at least fourth. And what fourth is seven, right? So that would be 12. Right. So, I mean, he's it, actually this fine. has been, he's fine. He might have a lot of little work to do. Oh, because I actually and Coleman. But now with kind of a real hand, I still think Coleman's opening a lot here, right? Yeah. No, this is a, he's definitely opening ace eight suited. So being behind you, I like it. Wow. And Mizzy looks oh, definitely interested. King Jack Mizzy suited. Mizzy could easily ship this. Really? Yeah. Easily. That, that's that's. Uh, in fact, I think he probably. I think he's will. gonna opt for it. He know he know now he sees what he's opening five handed. He's got a lot of chips. Yep. Yeah. I see that. I thought that. And he's not a he's a quick study. I mean, he too. has less than twenty bigs. This is honestly, it's pretty standard. Oh, okay. And I yeah. think oh. Coleman. I mean, Coleman will call. I think. Although, if. Mm. Whoa. Oh. Nope. Oh. Think about this, Antonio. Antonio. <laughs> think about this. You're not gonna think. Antonio's he's gonna, all he, in. He's just. Okay. He's, he's definitely There's nothing all in. to think about. No. He's actually a little Jax like way too he knows big. that Coleman's opening now wide, but like he's got to be a little concerned. <coughs> he's probably just gonna call because he's a little scared what Coleman five. might yeah. do behind. How do you wake up? How do you wake up? Has been called by the Miz. The no kings. Look like they've been fault. folded. He's got spade yeah, options. He is the Miz. There's. This is. This is not a this is not a guarantee. You see it's like 60-40. 61-37. I mean, yeah. uh, we saw no kings were out and no almost no spades. So wow, that there's hurts. one of them. That hurts. For wow. Me. Now Bunga, Antonio, by the way, now Antonio has to start worrying. <laughs> It is time to worry. Wow, that hurts. It's time to oh, oh, wow. that's just ridiculous. God, that is so good for me. That is so good for me. So good for me. me. I wasn't Should he worry him now? Did you see how wow. my energy shifted after the turn, by the way? I was like, wow. sitting in my little corner, I couldn't say a word. Now all of a sudden, I'm like the happiest guy in the world, man, you know? Did that, did that make wow. you feel good? This really guy good. just wins. Guys, huh? People oh, wow, won't believe it. The nut flush for Coleman. Coleman would no, have the nut flush with ace wow. eight of hearts. Yeah. And then with almost no board Phil pair had guards. had ten six of hearts. <laughs> well, I was going to say, if they, wow. put a, if they put a king, king out, that would I would have literally... I think people wouldn't have believed it. Yeah. Yeah. They would think You're this is all for, for show. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Antonio. <laughs> oh.
By the way, well played by Mizzy to take some watermelon as he goes. I got all the. Have that. Even if he knocks me out, he still loses his watermelon. So. Have fun, guys. Mizzy won't be too disappointed with that result. He finds himself as the clubhouse leader with 26 points. It'll be hard for him not to make it through in the top four now, especially as those behind him, Seaver and Jungleman, had such poor showings. Dan Coleman also secure, and if he takes this down, he'll have an eight-point lead at the top. So three heats in and 26 points for Sorrell. It's not a lock by any means for the final table, but it is still a pretty decent showing. Talk to us about what has to happen now to make sure that you get there. Okay, well basically Dan is going to have a good showing in this one, obviously. He's still in four-handed. Mm. Um, and Jeff has one more heat to go, and he's got, no sorry, he has two more heats. And he's got 25 points, so he's pretty likely to make it. So I'm going to, so basically there's three spots left, and Daniel is ahead of me. Um, so I, what I need to happen is Jason not do very well. Okay. So I'm rooting against him. Down to four here at the Playground Poker Club. Back for more after the break. Look at the guy. He's got a, he won an Invitational 15 years ago. He's still famous. I don't know what the hell he's doing. I ran the suicide gauntlet. It never ends. Never, ever, ever, ever ends. I was ready for it to end. Welcome back to the Playground Poker Club where the action is coming thick and fast. Before the break, we lost Sorrell Mitzi in fifth spot with five points, but his league position is still very strong as he remains in the top part of the league table. Let's get back to the action here in Montreal to see how the other players are getting on. Playing through the night at the Playground Poker Club and a recap on the points still up for grabs. Next one out gets seven points, then nine, 11, and then the big one, 14 for the winner. Heat six call. And Coleman's limped. I wonder why that becomes part of his Hold. game. Hold. Up. Antonio's really trying to figure out what is in Coleman's head. Check. Heads interesting. Up. Interesting limp, interesting check. Well, I think Antonio doesn't really want to reopen the can of worms yeah, here. Yeah, he doesn't want to play a big pot necessarily, and also his hand's super disguised now. Sort of how Sorrell was limping on me heads up, it's like annoying. You don't really know, like you want to raise like an ace-queen, but it kind of like not Six even checks. lets you, or you don't want to, because he's going to call. They both hit the flop pretty hard here. Well, Antonio has worked out that he does not need to play big pots against Dan Coleman while there's still four on the table. So, I mean, he's just going to go bet-bet here. Five, I mean, Coleman's five. bet calling yeah, always all, calling all the time. Always just calling. And on most rivers, Antonio's just going to bet again. Yeah. There's a Unless decent a amount jack, of draws on the board. He's just king. he's just crushing Coleman's check back flop range. It's pretty standard. And yeah, this is a, a brilliant brick. card for just Antonio. Just a stone brick. Easy bet. Going to get called probably. Then so it, he could decide Antonio's not bluffing and fold, but it's pretty standard to call. But yeah, you I think. Know, how much did he bet? 80. Oh, you bet a big one. Uh, wow, he went he, big. He's going to. Coleman's had some pretty good, uh, but like he limped his hand. He doesn't like no one. I, you don't even. Antonio doesn't know what he's limping. I mean, let's, I don't know. let's find out something about Coleman. So so far he's made a couple good river calls, but is it because he's a station or is it because he's got good <laughs> intuition? So good we're about call. to find out. Yeah, he's calling. Oh. All right, so maybe I'm I'm thinking station. <laughs> Both the players. Yeah. I'm thinking you're right. <laughs> but that's the problem with limp. I mean, he had no idea where Antonio was. I mean, Anto <laughs> you can't put Antonio on ace queen there, Check obviously. Back. Huh? Check back the ace queen. Yeah, you know, small pot poker. Let's have a look, see what happens, you know. I knew the run out. I ain't afraid of the five either. I have a five. Nice bet by Antonio, and he, he actually won quite a few chips from Coleman there, yeah, which that, is that separated probably them big exactly time. what Antonio wanted. C5 raised 25,000. Oh, well, C3 this is not Coleman. excellent timing for Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! And we got oh, Antonio is uh, he, he didn't fully slow roll him. Call. All in call. Of course. 
It's full lock. I can't help myself. You know? I figured it was two aces or kings. I knew right after. Don't worry about it. I knew right after. Nice ship, Phil. I thought you were going to open everything. Well, I, well, I am. Yeah. I just yeah, happen to have two kings. So I kind of think it was a good spot. Like four. you said, I don't mind it. it was a I good like spot it. to shove. It was a good hand to shove. That's what he's got to do. You guys are the best. He's a bit unlucky. He has 15 I mean, he's blinds. I don't think this is a good shift. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't do it to me. I mean, oh. I deserve it for the slow roll, but don't do it to me. You don't. He's been doing. He's been hurting me for years. You know. Let me get. Let me get back a little bit of justice. It is true. This will be the first time you get me in a while. I feel Phil's but energy. You have the he's best got the goggles on. You got a roof for him. I think. Yeah. Twelve percent. Hold on, baby. Yeah. Let's get he's a happy. Oh. All right. It's more than oh, twelve easy. now. More than twelve now. Jack or Nate's fun. Yeah. Seventeen. Why is there still hope for you, Phil? Like, what is going on? There's always still Don't hope for Phil. Come on. That's a brick. Five, five outs once. The forces of the universe conspire. He, looked, he doesn't look like a guy basis. who wants to go home, though. Look at Phil. He's got. Either coming or not. He kind of looks like ready to do <laughs> These spots. 50 50. He's trying to squeeze out a few percent here. Oh, God. Phil Lock! How just... are we? <laughs> <laughs> how does he do it? <laughs> I guess I've come over here for different reasons. I'm going to say, <laughs> it's the best I'm glad ever. I can keep gambling with you. What is and it? you can one see the action I'm going to give, you know? Likewise. I'm going to play likewise. like the best I can. I think he's opening, <laughs> I think he's opening uh, like Jack four off yeah, suit. Yeah. I think so. He is. He is. I just thought I was so big there, I couldn't let it go. Only you could beat me with Queen Knight against two kings, you know? I, it's amazing that it's that's something like 15 years now no coming. Problem. I'm just beating. Just like, I was uh, ready it for never it ends. End. Never, ever, ever, ever. I end. was ready for it. To I end. would think this would be like a nice time for it to turn a little bit, you know. But you had me big time, bro. No problem. Just I, but I'll I'll make, I'll make feels so sick. Yeah, you even, can see Duomo felt like he was in. I mean, that one hurt. Yeah. Is, he, yeah. is he kind of years now? That hurts the whole dynamic of the Premier League Four with Phil line. being basically. I mean, that's huge. Is he kind of like a walking Mr. Magoo, real life? <laughs> yeah, real you know, human. where you can't I mean, believe he's guy, still alive. He's got the Bruce Lee, the, the no headphones <laughs> you know what? on. The, the, it's just unbelievable. Today would have been a great day for one of... I Phil has a shirt that I really love. It says, case study in survivorship bias. Oh. Today would be a great, great day to wear the shirt. You know, I, I think Coleman, he actually sort of recognizes oh. there that goes. if he sits out, that Phil is liable to just, you know... Him and Antonio are just going to knock heads. Do almost we're going to jam this. What are the blinds? 816? Yeah, he's going to jam that. And he will he's be called. called. And he's live. Yeah, Phil's one of the few people you could, if you're do humble, you, you could maybe wait on. Yeah, for sure. You know, like, <laughs> like those chips, are in chips but it's possible Phil will <laughs> Phil, like, you rock for? it out before you. You might actually be rooting for me, huh? I think he is a son. <laughs> Good luck, sir. You too. Be nice. This is actually a big pot vortex. for everyone here. Wow. This, this board, is, this is over pretty much. Yeah, 6%. Obviously a nine coming of clubs from with rest. Nine of clubs, I mean, that would that's aggressive. I know, but you say it's over, it's gonna be something. No. Nope. Yep, it's mm -hmm. over. All right, that's a boat. Yep, good game. Well, for Dua Mel, it obviously could have been a lot worse. 17 Look, through three is very workable for him. Yeah, I and, think uh, he's uh, he's not thrilled, especially when it got down to four-handed. But start of the day, probably sign. I'm able to note now that Jonathan Duhamel is 17, tied with Daniel Cates 17. And that was, that was the best possible result for Phil Locke. 11 for Steven Ader. Esfandiari and Locke are both guaranteed to be in the playoff zone with a potential of 19 or 17 points, respectively, if they max out in this heat. And how good does it look for Dan Coleman? He'll end up heading the league table at the end of tonight and any more than third, and he puts some real separation between himself and the rest of the field. For Duhamel, he's still stuck in the middle of the pack. 17 points total for Jonathan, one heat left to play, and it's actually the last heat. There's a little advantage in that, isn't there? Uh, yeah, I think I like it. Uh, I think like fate's gonna be in my hands, uh, knowing what the you know the other guys are gonna do in terms of points and everything. So uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It kind of puts you right in the middle of the pack. So who do you need to do well? Who do you need to not do well? Well, I feel like I just need to win. To be honest, uh, I'm right in the middle of the pack. Uh, 
you know, the best scenario would be I finish top four, so I don't have to play any heads up, and I just yeah. go straight to the to the final table. Uh, if I have to play heads up, then uh, so be it. I just don't want to finish the last four. So, I mean, we'll see how it goes, but definitely I just want to try to win or maybe finish second and see from there. We're back for more from this heat of Premier League Poker 7 in a moment. I love going fast. I love this. Motocross, bring it on. I see jumps. Wow, you're so sick. I mean, wow. This is triple point merging matrix perfection. It's just insane. Welcome back. We're down to three here at the Party Poker Premier League as Heat 4 nears the end. Jonathan Duhamel was our last player out with seven points, leaving Phil Locke, Antonio Esfandiari, and Dan Coleman to battle it out for the remaining points. Let's head back to your commentators. Esfandiari pushing Ooh, ahead again. 1.2 million in chips. Dan Coleman in second, but don't rule out Phil Locke. He's got lucky flow. when it mattered, you know? and he's looking like he's got his table Winning captain flop, hat on. You know that one. Two. Sometimes, you know when you pay wrong those few times, you don't care because you feel it and then boom, reward, <laughs> like boom. Oh, it's on me, sorry. I didn't know it was on me. <laughs> oh. And we got the limp on he's the button. He's mixing it up. He is. And he's, he's psychic. Well, he's not limping to fold. So, I mean, if Antonio raises this up, Phil will call. Bet 50,000. Antonio going with oh. a little over 3x, which I like. I knew I couldn't get this limp through. <laughs> no one's limp. <laughs> he said the I whole knew day, I couldn't get this I limp through. I decided to limp one super premium hand. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All in. Whoa, limp Whoa. show. Wow, what's Antonio going to do here? It might work, and if it doesn't, he's, Coleman, he's gambling. Who wants to be sick? Who wants to get on the snowmobile <laughs> sick, and go sick. through the snow and just feel the air? Pushing through <laughs> the contours of the turn, pushing against the body, feeling Chronicles. I think of you just have right to admire there. Phil's sickness. I mean, he really <laughs> is sick. Like in the movies, yeah. with all the crystal like, snow. The yo, this is sick. This icicles. is really sick. You know, like Antonio. that guy Teddy KGB when he's like, "I will not be pushed around." Antonio's I mean, that's folding. Phil Lock right there. <laughs> Antonio's folding. And by the way. No oh way. And Antonio's thinking, if it is a premium hand, he's gonna have so he's much folding, egg on right? his face. I mean, that's part of it. Like, you show me aces and you give me the best low roll in recorded TV is right there. Okay, you know, we're surfing the wall right here. Open. All right, go. He, he called. Called. Wow. Good call. Wow. This is good. Yo, this one is gonna call. hurt. This Thought could really hurt. Fold everything. <laughs> good call. Uh, well, what's it gonna be I, then, I, I huh? <laughs> against him? Like against anyone else? I have a chance, but against him, Antonio's so going reverse. He's saying he has right no now. chance versus full. Now, I don't well, think I, I believe I'm historically I'm Antonio truly believes in his heart of hearts that he has run very bad lifetime versus Phil. And Phil's like going involved. This is I think things, we're going to see action in Montreal. In not Are today. You Are you kidding me? No, oh, that's a bad one. Pretty good flop for Antonio. Could this be it for Phil? Well, Hawk? Wow. Like or will he be saved, saved yet again? Oh. He, he will be saved. He wants a jack I mean, and Phil nine. Just, I really did, Dan. <laughs> By the way, Queen 10 was one of my stronger hands. <laughs> I was kind of speeding. A nine gives him. That's Actually a good card for him. him it's the best, one of the best cards for him. That's not a queen or a 10. <laughs> Phil with the pump fake, going for a double, double get up. This is, this is an advanced with. play. I had a lot of lights. He's got three cards. He's got Jack, Ten, or Queen. Yeah. It's Phil Locke. I mean, it's never over. Look at the guy. He's got a. He won an Invitational 15 years ago. He's still famous. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Antonio Tip definitely <laughs> digging true. down and hitting below the belt a that little bit. That was below that the one. belt. That could. We'll see how the river treats us. <laughs> oh, oh my oh god. My <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my god. That Phil Locke is sing. blessed. They know I'm on the course. I don't coming. care. They know I see the third hill, not the first two, but the third one. Just, that's so sick. I mean, I don't even know what to do. This is Look so at him. That's the, that's the man who is tilted out of his mind right now. I love going fast. I love this. Motocross, bring it on. I see jumps. 
I'm, I'm charting a course in my mind to get to jump. <laughs> to feel the bike push into the You can't mound. script this. This guy, I mean, this away. is what he's here. Like, wow, how the hell do cow. I do this? <laughs> how do you Damn. do it? That's a good question. How I do mean, you just win every all in? I mean, this, it's this could be the worst po played poker heat in history against the seven, the seven of the best poker know. players in the world. He's I, I love how Jesse says what? against seven of the best <laughs> in the world. By the way, I, it's like I, Phil I versus the best is what he says. That's epic. I don't mind you guys. Yeah, you can know that. I'll tell you <laughs> straight up. I want to get in there. I want to crash. To a guy that's been raising every hand, three-handed. That's why wow, you're so sick. I, I mean, wow. Crash. We're in shock <laughs> over here how you can be so sick. How can you be so sick? Because I just love bluffing you, kid. I don't know why. I'll tell you what. That was a good call by Antonio, wasn't it? That was pretty it was. good call. Antonio is steamed right now, man. Yeah, he's actually I, he's really upset. And his needles are getting a little. Uh, a little yeah, this up. isn't this hard. isn't the like fun, <laughs> loving jokes. This is like oh, yeah. genuinely not here. happy with Phil. He's slouched. <laughs> Phil is the chip leader. Oh my god. Phil is chip leader, this by the way. I don't think Phil knows how to slow down. I mean, he's, why would he now? He has no idea, but I mean, <laughs> we'll see. It can work to his advantage. Bailed him. My name is Phil Locke, and sometimes they call me the Unabomber. <laughs> and that's that's my intro because <laughs> the rules are very simple. Everyone knows the rules, and now it's uh psychological and mathematical warfare. It's like a blend. I'm very excited for the Premier League. This is my fourth time. This is the first time I've brought my fashion game to the Premier League. I've got multiple hoodies. I've got like the noise canceling headphones. I've got some goggles. I have a Bruce Lee t-shirt. I have, I'm prepared. I have my fashion stuff squared away. My brain's lined up. I've even, I even flew here three days before things started so that I would be in the right time zone quadrant. My circadian rhythms are all lined up. I'm good, I'm re good to go, out of the gate. Let's go, Premier League, bring it on. <laughs> it's hard to know what's going on in Phil's brain. I'm Holy waiting for cow. him to write his book so I can figure it out. <laughs> no, here we got the three high, so let's see how this goes. I mean, he's on the button, he's suited. No talk about astral connections on this one though. Nope, this is just this is just a little guppy raise. With the, this is a value hand for so him. So let's see if he flops nothing. He's probably ready to go to war with nothing oh. on this with the three deuce. He's gonna have a customer 38, here. Thirty-eight thousand. And as Dan, I think he's just gonna call just because gonna call. Let's, <laughs> let's, Coleman is unlikely flop. to ever stick I a bet in in this hand. hand. Down, I don't let's care go. what comes out. I mean, this is a uh, this is no, this I, is interesting. Phil that. might hit a flop though. Let's see if it gets. And he did, oh, oh my goodness! Hello, call a doctor for wow. calling a holy cow! How about cow. this is probably gonna get this is three most streets incredible of value. flop I've ever seen. I, I mean, this is gonna show some of the power of position because Phil's gonna be able to get three bets on this. No, one. but you know what? Dan may just call. Is he, oh, Dan's he's gonna, gonna check lead. Oh, don't do it, Dan. Yeah, of course. Oh, he's check raising crazy. for value. He's hoping he has a king yeah. or like two nines. Phil might just go all in. Cause no, no, no. <laughs> no, watch Phil, Phil do. Should definitely just call here. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, Phil's. Phil understands it. I mean, I don't know. I can see him making a big bet. On what? What's he repping? I mean, like, why no, scare just, him? Yeah, well, he's hoping he is a king or he's not, he thinks he might not yeah. get paid. That's a just stone brick. I mean, this is wild. I mean, Coleman's, Coleman's going to get a lot. Phil's going to get Are a lot. Are you sure Coleman might not just slow down here? No. Look at this. This is, by the way, Phil's is, got a good kicker with his queen. He didn't three Coleman's bet in pre flop. Face, by the way. If you want to see what he thinks when he has the lock hand, this is it because he is pretty <laughs> sure he has the best hand. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to bet like yeah. Yeah, 110, 90, 98. 95,000. Phil looks oh. like a weak king here. Look at Coleman. Look how comfortable he is. He's like, how much chips can I get? Oh my he's god, like, he's got he's like thinking king about what's the he's on like, the river. I called 95,000 Dan Coleman. <laughs> Pretty quick. Oh, he's a special guy, this guy. Wow, great card for Phil. Unbelievable. Do you think this Phil, <laughs> Phil's going to ship the river, right? He can't just call. I mean, call. he should, but... Based on how he plays, he cannot just call. I wow, mean, okay. Coleman's, Coleman's going to bet, like... Yeah, yeah, okay, 140. 140. Right. I mean, Phil should shut Does here. Phil get all the chips? Phil should definitely Phil should, go Phil on. should make it like 470. How much was the wager from Dan Coleman? <laughs> Phil has asked how much the wager is. <laughs> well, okay, son. Thank you, sir. If he just calls, this is like, I can't take it. I know if I ship it, I would win it, sir. I know that. That's what the algorithms say. Pacquiao's parting time? I'm going with the algorithms. I'm all in. All in. 
Oh, oh. oh. Going with the algorithm has been called. <laughs> oh. <laughs> merging matrix perfection. Dan is handcuffed. <laughs> it's not quite as funny anymore. He's gonna put it in. Would you bluff here? I mean, it's possible, right? It's gonna be hard to get a read. <laughs> yeah. He's From got a guy that can't hear or see. <laughs> <laughs> How can you get a read off of a guy that doesn't even know where he is? It's hard to put Phil on a hand that he'd bluff with unless he just, <laughs> just floated like with nothing it and yeah. decided to turn it into a bluff. Well, because he knows um, he's you know. not with king 10, king 9. He's just going to call. Like, honestly, this is probably a fold, it's but a fold. it makes I'm you just... feel sick yep. to, to make it, you know. It is sick. I mean, like, that's the thing, though. Like, if and you so really far, think we haven't about really it. seen Coleman. That's the one thing we haven't really seen him is make big laydowns because he's played very well other than that. So he's going to, yep, pitch it in. Yeah. Wow! Oh, wow! 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 Just <laughs> huge. I think we might have bluffed you right now. I think it's possible. Like, I think it's very possible. Yeah, very impressive. Very possible. good lay down wow. by Coleman. He's never doing that with aces or ace king. No, no. Ever. No, no. He doesn't have you at a king, so he didn't have a king. No, no. And now Phil is not safe to win this <laughs> with a 1.2 <laughs> in the in the stacks. It is not over. That was well, no one's ever million? safe. I mean, Mizzy had 1.2 yesterday and and was in trouble a little bit versus you for a while. You had yeah. taken a solid chip lead, so it's, it's only half the chips. Phil Lock, ladies and gentlemen, you know. Oh, Coleman's down at 370 now, though. Wow, wow. He's he's folding with having 370 lived. left there. I mean, that's it's pretty. I don't know. That's uh, he made. He really he figured it out. Pretty. That's impressive. Kind of non-exploitable range. Milt merging, collapse, whatever flow chart. It's still out there. It's floating. And the blinds are up to 10 and 20. That, that should actually make Coleman a little more comfortable, for right? For Coleman, I mean, he's playing to lock up the like, blinds went up. Uh, a final table spot here. I mean, you either have 29 break. or 34 for Phil and Antonio. They're, they're going to range yeah. between 14 and 17 and 19 points. So this yeah. is, the, for that these two, it's very important how they finish. I mean, to be honest, Jeff, I think something a little larger is at stake the here. I think that these so guys are all playing for history right now. I mean, I mean, if Dan Coleman can win this heat, this this, this might be like the his chance to be a legend. I mean, like... I mean, this is quite, this is, seems quite special if you could defeat Phil Locke on this night. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. This might be bigger than winning the Premier no. League. <laughs> so Phil with 10-4. Uh, you know, I'm going to do the correct play. I'm going to call, and I'm going to club the living daylights out of you. With well, my Phil's giving away his hand he He's going to club well, the, the living daylights, daylights out of you. I owe 23. Close. Verbal clue. You guys, I'm looking forward to this. I qualified. Be Let clear. the games go! Rip it! Rip it! Wow, oh. Phil flopping two pair. Holy cow. Unfortunately for him, his opponents have exactly zero. <laughs> He's gonna see what he can do. <laughs> Dan. Dan, do it, Dan. Leading out with absolutely That's nothing. Not gonna get through Dan Phil. Dan likes it. This is the kind of flop he likes. He's got like the backdoor straights, the backdoor flushes and over. He's he's like he's in there. He's he likes this flop. <laughs> I, I'm not sure I like this play. I mean Oh, jeez, what's and Antonio wow. up to? Antonio might make his first timing mistake of the day. This looks like a, he's like, what? how strong could Dan be leading? Phil just flats. Raise 166,000. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, you know, he has Coleman read really well. Bro, yes. you know what? But, Coleman uh, could make a Coleman move Coleman has here. nothing. You're absolutely Coleman right. could do something here. Coleman is folding, okay? Antonio has made a great read on this kid, but... I, oh, wow. <laughs> I, I actually, I wouldn't he's, even have to go gonna, all in. He's, he's just, gonna rip it. He's gonna rip he's it. He's gonna make it like three seven. Like he's gonna raise. <laughs> it. He's not even gonna rip it. He's gonna re-raise. It's Phil. I yeah. Mean, what? I, I just don't think he's doing it. I mean, I, no, I, I see you. it I if he you. has I'm, like I'm a little he, something he to go with it. it seriously. Oh my God! This. What What is the right play right now? If you're Phil Lock. If Phil If Phil call checks, I would. Phil's, I'm gonna cry. Phil's gonna go all in. Yeah, he's just not gonna waste any time. David Alexander J for five. By the way, it's the thing you said. Remember queen, six of hearts, and it came queen with the whatever, and you said folding here would just be ludicrous. It would be too exploitable. So I don't mind doubling up you guys. Look you at guys Antonio. Antonio. He, couldn't, he didn't even say anything. God, what a fish. He just folded quick, hoped it's it would like end. It's like viewers, um, I don't, I don't, I ski. I don't really, uh, what's it called? What's Snowboard. The, snowboard? Yes. Snowboard. I've done it twice. But anyways, if you're out there with like a 14 or a 12 year old that just loves doing it, and he asks anyone for advice, even an, inst even an oh. instructor, 
the instructor is supposed to say. Right, for all the shorties out the there, as far the as points go, Brian, no they, they still need, I mean, Dan Coleman to win is still the best result, the really, I guess, right? Flow. It's like playing Yes, pool. Dan Coleman awesome. winning is the best result for, you know, people yeah. like me and Dan Shack. And yeah, Phil Locke's the best for me, I think, for sure. This is interesting, Antonio. They're both pretty short. And Antonio's not going to love this. Wow, Antonio just limp shoved the king four. Uh, I don't hate that. His plan was that if he limps, he's going to raise him pretty light. Oh, oh wow. Jin. Come on, dealer. One time. One more time. Correction. One time. Yeah, <laughs> that's Vandiar. He doesn't oh, God, cover him, but it's trick. very close between that's these it. guys. He goes, that's it. Antonio, this, this, this didn't work for him another day on the reverse. Get up Charlie in 68. That's what he's going up. It's, of he course. get both shoes on. It's going up a lot. This move was first popular. Wow, everyone just up reversing he, each he other. He used to get 6% from this move. Oh, God. Nope. What, oh. Jack plays. Good luck, boys. Yeah. And Antonio yeah. Esfandiari. <laughs> I, guess you, I guess you can what? blurt that out. This is a family show. <laughs> what did he What did he just? Instead of shaking his hand, uh. he gave him the finger. <laughs> uh, it was pretty good, actually. <laughs> and, uh, he actually and he played up. pretty spectacular good, today, buddy. Antonio. He did what he came here to do. He would have bit your arm off if you said Yeah, he would have been happy third with third place. coming in you for know, sure. He's played so. two heats, Antonio. 14 points. He's well in this Premier League. A third place finish here gives Antonio 14 points after two heats. Still two heats left to go. So talk to me about how this sits you in the in the league rankings. I mean, I was clearly hoping for a better result given that I had so many chips. This happened in both heats to me. And uh, I just can't be Phil luck. He's the luckiest luck box on the face of the earth. And it never changes. So whatever, it just is what it is. So. I mean, I'm still, for sure, there's a lot of people that are doing a lot worse than me. Oh, yeah. So I'm not doing great, but hey, a third is not so bad as far as the points go. So have a good result tomorrow, and then I'll have enough points to go to the final table. Heat four is down to two players. Phil Locke takes on Dan Coleman. Heads up for the maximum 14 points here at the Premier League. It's been Phil Locke's lucky day in Montreal. Everything seems to have gone right for him. Oh my God. <laughs> What's going on? Seaver's going to need an ambulance. Phil Locke, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Bye bye, jungle. Oh, God. Phil Locke. Just, how are we? <laughs> how does he do it? You had me big time, bro. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! That Phil was just blessed. Oh, of course, it was coming. That's wow! You're so sick. I, I mean, wanna wow! Oh, oh my goodness! Hello, call a doctor, Phil Lock, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Phil Lock. If I just start pulling here, I'm too exploitable. Yeah, what a fish! So who takes it down? Let's get right back to the table and find out. In terms of the Premier League standing. This heads up is no pressure at all for Dan Coleman. He's already nearly oh, locked up his final table seat Nine, and uh, only has You're to really ensure and go guys. for uh, uh, that league leaderboard. Whatever. But for Phil sick, Locke, bro. this is I everything. I How mean, much uh, the extra three points could be I the difference really much. between him Raised making the playoffs or not, Brian. Yeah, I mean, I, Phil probably has so much adrenaline way, going through his brain from all his all-ins and getting there and just you know I mean he could have been out many many times and in such a terrible spot this this has a potential to get Phil this it, is kid. one of the hands Phil could win do this could go in with Don't you know it. comes jack or ten high and yeah you did it it's been done I'm on the sled 106 Coleman will be taking a flop here heads yeah. up Oh. Blinds are small enough. They're deep enough. He's got position. He's got a guy with ski goggles and, and headphones on to, <laughs> to play against. He's gonna go for it. He's gonna take a take at least a flop. You really are the sickest. If this flop comes jack high. Nope. Oh Ooh. wow. Kind of bad flop for Coleman. I mean, it's it's the kind of flop that you you give action on, right? That, that he could actually get well, try and retake the lead here if he wants to. Yeah. Well, uh, with a fifty thousand, just that, gonna I mean, call. Coleman's definitely gonna call. Call. I think Phil's bet's a little small. It's a little too small on that draw your board. On that oh, ace. Just slows it down. Phil should bet here again. Check. Why? Because he shouldn't have an ace and like it's oh, just Phil's like. Phil's checking. It, well, if he, as long as he's checking he's with the intention. He's throwing a little of, rope to Coleman. Yeah, which, uh, I, if he has that Coleman's intention, I don't take. hate it. Wow, Coleman pounds it. 
That that is a pound. Is that consistent with him having an ace? Um, yeah, I don't think Phil's gonna believe it. That's for sure. I, I Phil's Phil, calling Phil it knows down. a lot. Phil knows that he's. This is not. A Here's fold. the thing. This flop has a ton of draws on it. All kinds of straight draws and flush draws. And Phil bet super small. So yeah. all those hands are still in. I like, all the I like Phil's still line in. here. I don't think Coleman's gonna barrel it off though. Like this could. Now, the, I mean, Phil's gonna check. Coleman's gonna have a decision. If he's gonna Coleman, bet, he's gonna have to go I'll fat. Coleman's on the river. not bluffing. I don't. I do not think Coleman's gonna go for a bluff here. I mean, Phil I, could easily have an ace here as well, right? Even yeah, though he he's the type of guy that doesn't want to. You can't check back Jack High and win, like, but like he just gave up. Yeah. He's gonna give up. Yeah. This I mean, is a big pop for Phil. I mean, Phil just took a bunch of chips. Wow, he did go fat on that turn. I didn't. Yeah. He's he uh, he t took a shot at it and then wanted an eight or a jack oh, good time. Otherwise, it's exploitable. Explo <laughs> I love what you said that, kid. You put me in the harmony, you know, the truth. Because <laughs> as long as, like, you're in this little math vacuum, swishing around. That was a very it's good like result for with those Phil. Curves. You can yeah. It's like if you're with the flippers, those games with the pinball. 24,000. I don't know what happened tonight. I'm just doing my best, just trying to do good. All nice rivers. 24. Yeah. Just. <laughs> Coleman really, he's kind of on life support, but he doesn't, uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, wow, they both have decent hands. Wow, wow. Phil opts to check. <laughs> Nobody raises it up. Oh, wow. that's the flop we were be, looking for. This could be it. This could all go in. It and could, if, it, if, it, sure. if it goes in, it should have gone in on the flop. I mean, the problem is nobody raised, but if it was a raised pot, it would 24. for sure be in on the flop. And now it depends on whether or not Coleman raises here. He, I, I think he will. Probably. I think he will raise yeah. too. There's like it was a limp pot. There's like three fours. He has pairs. I would. I would be very. I would probably raise it in his shoes. So. I think he's raised, looking to get it in. At some point, yeah. they just can't play the small, small ball. Yeah. There like, we go. Yeah, Good raise. raise. Phil's just gonna jam. He's gonna snap. I think he's gonna go pretty fairly fast and get it in. Fast? I don't know. Phil likes taking his time. He, it's his 134. On the time draws, the he usually... You pull in 24 oh, okay. from both of us and have it touch the main pile. <laughs> Thanks. And then could you also push the pot flat sort of for my thing. <laughs> this is, this is going to go in. Raise. Can you pull this in? <laughs> how much is this? I mean, Coleman doesn't yeah. need, care how much it yeah, is. Yeah, it's for Coleman all the chips. It's things. like 500. It's, I mean, it's yeah. 308,000. More? All right, I'm all in. Re raise all in. Phil put some money in. Here this we is our, go. <laughs> this is our chance. What do you think? Come on, what Phil. happens in Montreal? If Coleman this wins is, this pot, I mean, if this then isn't it'll Phil's be day, I don't know when Steven. it is, right? This has got to be Phil's time. Phil Lock can win this pot and win the heat. Oh, that's a wow. good brick. No Phil three, no four. Phil has been quite the. River He's the river rat, guy, though. You know, three to one, though. Living on the river, so far like three times. Wow. Nope, not this time. And now we've got a match. Okay. Yeah, that just about evened it up. I, in fact, I think Coleman has a slight chip lead. That was well fought. <laughs> There's the smile for Dan Coleman. That was well I've fought. Got him, was he says now. I've lost in a long time. Now I gotta pay the price. True, that was the first big pot you lost in a while. So it's uh, I almost didn't a chip switch. For, yeah, is it a momentum flop, switch? I mean, is Dan going to feel... I almost went for full value pre-flop commit. Can he, can he adjust his tactics now? I was like 36% for that. <laughs> You're crazy, man. 24. 24. Head up, Hyper Turbo. This is Dan Coleman's arena. I mean, wh wh what is Phil Locke's game or experience like head let, up let, like this? Let the blinds get big and get it in. I think he's uh, he's obviously... This is not oh, this is this guy's specialty, so... Phil's going to be at a disadvantage. 50,000. Call. Oh. Here we go. Well, look at this hand. I Phil's mean, going to have to get lucky. <laughs> Phil, is, I mean, I, I think Coleman pretty this much has, to, has to raise this. Wow. Yeah, he is. Yeah. This, is this over? Yeah, well, it's going in. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I think Phil's only going to call a check raise here. I don't. I don't think there's. I don't think there's a lot of value for Phil to re. I, I don't know. I feel like Phil's going to call. colt has got him. Yeah, he's calling. Right. He's got the call. man from the gods. Phil, a ten. A king would kill the action on the hand, but that now that card is a great card for Coleman. Terrible card for Phil. 
you know, all the straight draws are still there. So Phil's definitely going to call again, and Dan's going to bet again. So nothing changed on this board. And there is and no reason Dan for Phil to fold. Is that, yeah. This is a great bet by Dan. I like it. And, uh, yeah, I mean. He's got him. He's just got him. He's em. got him. It's going to be tough. 000. You know, this would be. I just can't see Phil laying this well, hand down. Yeah. I mean, we could effectively play for stacks on the river if Dan yeah, is, if it's a, if figures it's a out what, what Phil has. Yep. Oh. Just stone brick. Yeah, it's, it's a brick. In. All in. I call. Call. Wow. Well, two pair. That's it. That's good. That's it. Coleman's got him. It's over. <laughs> and uh, the <laughs> wizard wins. I think I need cover. Dan Coleman, <laughs> a second. A third, now a first. He is crushing this You're Premier cool. League. Am I out? Yeah. <laughs> Phil Luck has a second place finish now, and uh, that's really going to help you here. Talk to me about that. It's huge. I was out to see a drift, and uh, I needed a wave to get me close to maybe I catch a wave later mm -hmm. to get me to shore. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do, get to shore. I'm like still in pretty tough spot. Hey, can anything going to happen? You know, that's where it's at. Phil Luck trying to get to shore. It looked like it was Phil Locke's night, but Dan Coleman tips him at the post. He's eight points clear at the top and a lock for the top four. Mizzy's five points tonight mean he's in a strong position to hold on to automatic promotion to the final table. Duhamel and Jungleman remain in the playoff zone, but second and third finishes for Locke and Esfandiari pull them out of the bottom and back into contention. Not a great night for Seaver, he drops into the elimination zone. And it all went wrong for Vanessa Selps. It'll be a mountain for her to climb in the last heat to even make the playoffs. Next time, Heat 5 gets underway. Time is running out for some, while others are already locked into that famous final table here in Montreal at the Party Poker Premier League. So insane. Boom! One pair. All right, well, we still got a street to cover. <laughs> He's so mad. You should loosen up a little. I don't need advice. I am in Barney, Rubble, Trouble. Premier League stuff is sick, bro.